Wait a second. I'm over here slipping. We can't do the review without the clippings. Am I right? Or am I right? All right, give me a second. Let me go throw them in real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> So I'm back. I got the hair clipped in, put on a little bit of makeup, got the nails put on. So now that I'm all glammed up, let's go ahead and talk about what this video is really about. If you could tell by the title, we're here to talk about my final review. Oh, wait a second. Camera focus on me. Oh, what? What? Uh, there you go. There you go. All right, you guys. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush, you guys. I wish I knew about these clip-ins before high school maybe even in middle school i wish i knew i wish i knew about these clippings a long time ago you guys like i feel like my life would have been a lot different if i knew longer about these clippings because i'm not gonna lie i am in total love with these clippings i do have some pros and i do have some cons and i'm gonna let them know to you guys let's go ahead and dive right on in first off you get so much hair in the non-glam bundle. Like, I was low-key freaking out. Like, oh my gosh, shouldn't I have got the glam bundle? Should I have spent the extra money to get the more hair? Honestly, it was like... These are all nine of the clips that came into the bundle. And your hair is going to be very thick and full, you guys. Like, you, the non-glam bundle is not needed. But if you do get it, it's going to be an extra oomph. Like, you might not even use all the clips if you get the glam bundle. But honestly, I'm not going to lie. If you take care of these clippings, they could last you more than a year. But one con for me, I wish the you could pick your hair type with the clippings. Because when I did my clippings, I noticed that it was like a darker black and my hair is like a lighter brown. So I did put a temporary color into my hair to make it mesh naturally with the clippings. I wish we could choose your hair color, but... It's not like such a big throw off to me that I won't buy the clip-ins like I, I can make it work you can make it work I'm just saying <laughs> one pro for me is like it is so versatile if you like really want to be conservative and have none of your hair out um, you could completely braid down your hair and leave out a little leave out um, just to mesh in your hair with the clip-ins and just completely like clipping your hair through the braids i've been doing that for a while i've just been lazy to go back to get my hair braided down because you know i can't braid so i just been wearing my clip-ins lately with my hair and either way they mesh so perfectly one thing i did notice um the texture of the hair when i first got it it was very silky it was very brand new as time goes by you know the silkiness does fade away but the longer you keep it in a package like keep it sealed up not thrown about the longer that the silkiness will last so it depends on how good you take care of the hair but the silkiness do fade i love the blown out look like usually i'll just wash and blow dry it out because the blow dry out hair mesh so perfectly with my hair like it looks so natural i love the texture of the hair because it meshes is like it was made for my hair so i love that so 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 much i even love the imperfections like the little crinkly it has crinkliness in it you could straighten it out if you want to but i like those little imperfections because it makes it look more realistic the only thing i will gripe about i'm a very lazy person and lately i've been in the wig trend and the reason why is a wig is one full unit that you could just slap on fix your little leave out if you want to leave out if you want to leave out leave out <laughs> but with clip-ins it if you like get used to the routine it takes you like five to two minutes to put in but like honestly those five to two minutes could be more highlight putting on my face 
<laughs> no, but honestly, like, I've been fall like, I love wearing wigs because it's one big unit that you can throw on, whereas these clip-ins, you gotta keep clipping them in. Leading on to my next point, I wouldn't recommend you sleep in your clip-ins because if while you're rolling around your head and you're resting the clip-ins against your pillow, you're moving the clips against your roots and it's going to cause balding in that area. So do not sleep in your clip-ins. If you do, then hey, you've been warned. I'm just telling you. It's not, it's not so safe to sleep in your clip-ins. So what i've been doing is i've been taking out my clippings at night and putting them in in the morning it's a little time consuming but you know if you have the time then hey but if you're not you know a wig would be more convenient to just plop on your head and you know go out the door but hey i really love how durable they are because i've done some stuff to them i like literally balled them up and threw them in the corner until i was ready to use them again like they're very durable i love that so much it lasted a year and none of the clips fell out so i respect that so much and i love it so much because i haven't been going easy on these clippings another con would be that if you do not seal the wefts then you will get a lot of fallout you'll get a lot of hair shedding and to the point where you feel like the clippings itself is starting to thin drastically so please when they say to seal the webs because i did i little story time i sealed half of my webs and I, I forgot it, I just, you know, got tired of it and I didn't seal the other halves. So I did notice that the hair that was sealed didn't shed. It was like one to two strands minimal for the shedding. But the other side that didn't get sealed, it was just, it was like a lot of hair fallout. So I'm telling you, like, if you want to preserve your clippings, seal the wefts. Even after you wash your hair and it dries, seal the wefts again. I'm just telling you, continually seal the wefts after every wash. Alright, so those are all my pros and cons. Honestly, I do not regret this purchase because still after a year, it's, the hair is still, like... I wouldn't say silky in a tense, but it's, like, more natural. It's, like... This blends into my hair so much. Like, I was getting so much compliments off of my hair that I just went with the flow and said, yeah, this is my hair. Thank you so much. And you know, just keep it moving. <laughs> I feel like I don't need to make another purchase of the clip-ins yet because these are still standing strong. So, hmm. <laughs> and I did notice on their website that they're coming out with wigs. So once I see a wig that piques my interest, I might try out their wigs instead of their clippings again because the wigs are starting to be more convenient for me because, you know, I'm a lazy person. <laughs> But anyways, you guys let me know if you're thinking about buying the clip-ins. Did you already purchase them? Let me know all your thoughts and your opinions down below. Let's chit-chat in the comments. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you already know when I'm posting a video. I'll be back next week with another video. Bye, you guys.